You're watching Pagan Nightly News. Welcome to Pagan Nightly News on Magic TV. I am your anchor, Ed Hubbard, and Anastasia Tompkins is off for the evening. Welcome. We want to thank you all for coming out to listen to us. Over 8,000 visitors visited Magic TV this weekend, and we continue to grow. Tonight, we're also going to bring on our second show, The Interactive Grimoire, which will be a weekly Monday night show with Reverend Don Lewis. Now to the news. Witch Fest casts a spell. You heard the news. It's reverberating around the country, around the world. Witch Fest is now the largest festival ever in recorded history for pagans and Wiccans. In Bala, spokeswoman for the witchcraft movement, who just uses her first name. Uh, so it went unbelievably well. Uh, from the numbers, it looks like they have between four and 5,000 people show up, and this festival will grow. Uh, they had Terry Pratchett, of the, of the, you know, the author, and several more people, and also UK Wolf Trust Charity. It's one of the people who benefited from it. Congratulations, Wizfest. That is one of the best things you can have happen to it. Um, on to Richard Sorrell, uh, 65 of Peabody, Massachusetts, was charged a while ago in his protest against the Bewitch Statue. The Bewitch Statue in Salem, Massachusetts, of Elizabeth Montgomery riding side saddle on her broom on a moon to represent America's favorite show, The Witch. In that protest, he asked the statue to put up just a few yards away from where people had died of being accused of witchcraft. Richard Sorrell felt that that was not necessary, and he carried a sign that said, Elizabeth who? Is she from Salem? And in that protest, he tried to get closer to the TV cameras and, and is alleged to have knocked over a 71-year-old woman. All of these charges were found to be cleared and dismissed. Uh, Richard Sorrell found out in a public statement that it was bittersweet because he was hoping to challenge them on their First Amendment rights. Producer of the Halloween film, of the Halloween films, Michael Meyer films, uh, Mustafa Akkad was killed last Friday. Terrorism strikes everywhere and it strikes into the heart. And in Jordan, the homicide bombers took their lives and the lives of over 60 people. In there, one of the people who was there was Mustafa Akkad, who was behind the great movies of Halloween Michael Myers. He also wrote The Message, a movie which was not without its own controversy in its day. Um, when it was released in 1976, uh, American Muslims, some American Muslims took, uh, took hostages to keep the movie from being filmed. But people said it was one of the best ways, one of the best movies of the time to show Islam to the world. He also, his daughter, Rima Akib Mauna, has, was also killed in this attack. We want to send our families, the families of all the victims, our very best. Everybody's favorite retailer may be banning Christmas. At least that is what the Catholic League of Religious and Civil Rights criticized the world's largest retailer, Walmart, of doing. By, by saying, Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas, they said that they have insulted and tried to ban Christmas. Walmart, while they've become the largest retailer, has now become the bastion of where Christmas should be celebrated. The Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights said that basically that by erasing High Holidays for Merry Christmas, that it, would, it is wrong. And they said that we want an apology for insulting Christians by effectively banning Christmas. And a withdrawal of insane statements regarding the origins of Christmas and a revision of their website. This was called on by Catholic League President Bill Donahue on the group's website. What was the crazy statement? Well, it seems a temporary associate named by the name of Kirby and no other identification according to Mr. Dan Fogelman, the spokesman, was genuine. He did send out a letter that basically stated that Christmas was a combination of world traditions from Siberian shamanism to Vizkoth calendars. Let me read you the actual statement. The colors associated with Christmas, red and white, are actually a representation of the Anamita Mascara mushroom. Santa is also borrowed from the Caucasus, Mistletoe from the Celts, Yule Log from the Goths, the time of the Vizkoth, and the tree from the worship of Baal. It is a wide, wide world, said the email, from a customer service worker, as we said, and the only is Kirby. He is no longer with Walmart, says that Walmart should not be held accountable. 
uh, for, for temporary worker statement. Dan Fogelman went on to go ahead and say, Walmart is proud to welcome customers of all faiths and celebrants of all holidays. We sincerely apologize to any person or organization that was offended by the inappropriate and inflammatory comments by this former state, by this former associate. But they did say that the, the, the whole statement had been taken out of context and that the stores, while encouraging employees to say happy holidays, did so include celebrations from Thanksgiving to Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas, as well as New Year's Eve. So Walmart represents every faith except for, I guess, the religious beliefs of Mr. Kirby. Uh, Mr. Kirby, if you're out there, let us know. We would love to talk to you. We want to we want you to know that we're going to cover news all across the country, everywhere. And what we want you to do is to send us your stories. You can go to our site, magic.tv, to find out how you can send us tapes and pieces of uh, video that you've done, and tell us what's happening in your area. Send us reports, and we'll read them here a lot. Tell us what's happening out there in the big world, and we will tell the world. You tell us, we tell the world. It's a real easy deal. Come and join us with it. I want to thank everybody who's joined us, and we can continue. This week we have the Interactive Grimoire tonight, a new piece by Don Lewis. Tomorrow, the Zenner Project, one of the more exciting things. Later, up, later this week on Peggy Nightly News, we will be doing a report, special report on blogs. How are they affecting the community? And metaphysical tips on sales on eBay. How can you sell more of your items on eBay for this Christmas? We want to thank you for joining us on Magic TV and Peggy Nightly News. And remember, Magic is everywhere, so is TV.